Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I am back today with my last um, video, process video, using my Studio Calico April Kits. Now I have everything laying here on my desk and I'm just trying to figure out what to use. Now, I struggled with this kit and I've mentioned it a few times. It's no real surprise that I struggled with this kit and I think it was mainly because of the colors that were in the kit. It's just not usually, the I don't usually use a lot of green and orange and that's kind of what was in this kit. So I struggled a bit with that and um, in the end, instead of trying to make another layout work, even though my last layout has been my favorite, Instead of trying to make another layout work, I decided to just go ahead and pull out the pile of memorabilia that I have sitting on my shelves and just see if I can use any of those items to, you know, decorate those memorabilia pieces. So the very first one I came across was this Happy Thanksgiving um, thing that Kaylin had painted. Now you really can't tell here, but the orange is actually painted on a bag or a placemat. I can't remember what it was. Um... But because it's painted and you can actually see the brush strokes on it in person, I thought, oh, finally I can use those paint, um, oh gosh, paint brushes. I totally lost the word there for a second. And then there's this orange strip that says, be your own kind of beautiful. So I ended up using all of those strips, but one, and I'm going to end up using three out of six of those, um, uh, paint brushes and I was astounded that I even used that many because I really did not think that I was ever going to use those. Now this beautiful pattern paper on the back is something that I kind of looked at a few times and I wasn't really sure how to use it so putting one large piece of memorabilia right here in the middle seems fitting. It doesn't it doesn't really cover up the whole beautiful gold foiled paper um, and I thought it would work well. I'd rather use it than just put it in my stash and it sit there forever. And I'm using the last little bit of this, or almost last little bit of this journaling card that I had kind of pulled out and saved um, to put a little bit of journaling on there, talking about that this is something that Kaylin had painted and made um, in preschool. So I decided to go ahead and flip it over in the back. Might as well use, instead of pulling out a piece of white cardstock, might as well go ahead and use the back side of this. So this is kind of the second piece of memorabilia that I'm using and these were some um, leaves that they had put you know what they're thankful for in um, preschool and so Caitlin had answered it says I am thankful for and then it says mommy daddy my brother my pet Sarge which is not his pet that's his grandmother's pet and hugs and I just thought oh these are such cute answers. I want to make sure that I put these in my scrapbook. And it was kind of, it was paper clipped, not paper clipped, uh, clothes pinned to a piece of twine that had been hanging up and had been in his room. You know, we kept it in his room. It was around Thanksgiving. I think I kept it in his room until Christmas or right after Christmas that year. Um, and then I had stuck it with my memorabilia to hopefully use in a project. And so I thought having them all kind of on the back side of this paper would be a great way to include them. Now, having six leaves on a white piece of cardstock it's kind of a little bit difficult to, to embellish I will admit I've really kind of didn't know what to do with it so I use the last little bit of that green um, acetate piece to kind of offset that top car or that top um, leaf to kind of say hey this is the title and then I'm going to put just a couple of labels around here Now I'm not really going to put anything on these other labels that are on the leaves um, but I kind of like the way they looked it almost looked like they were the leaves were pinned up by those labels at least that's the way it looked in my mind um, <clears throat> but the whole point of me showing you all of this is that when you have a kit that you don't really know what to do with, there are still ways to use it without having to complete a full layout. And one way to use it without having to complete a full layout is to include your memorabilia. Now, I have a ton of memorabilia. I actually was just going through it earlier sitting on the floor. I have a ton of memorabilia in my um, on my shelves to include in my scrapbook at some point that I just haven't gotten around to. So having a kit that didn't really work out was probably a little bit of a blessing because it made me sit down and look at the memorabilia instead and see what else I can do with it. Now, instead of using all my double-sided, I mean, um, my, um, glue runner, I just decided to pull out some double-sided tape just to put down these leaves. I thought it'd just be easier. 
and then I felt like the leaves were floating and I knew something needed to go here at the bottom so I pull out this orange um, border strip that was on it was the manufacturer strip on a piece of paper so um, another way to go ahead and use up a few things that are sitting around that you don't necessarily want to get rid of but you don't really want to include them in your stash either I have enough border strips in my stash I don't need any more so if I can figure out a way to use them totally I'm going to do it so um, I ended up completing I believe eight inserts with this kit and I will give you um, some photos of those inserts at the end here but I'll also show them in my killer kit video so um, just to kind of get an idea some things that you can do with leftovers from a kit or maybe scraps that you have sitting around in your stash I have a billion scraps and I don't throw anything away because I feel like I paid for that it's valuable I can use it at some point how many times am I sitting here making a layout and I need a scrap piece of paper of a scrap piece of pink paper just to punch a little tiny minuscule heart out of so whatever that's a tangent, but I don't throw away scraps except for the little slivers and little bits and pieces of things um, that are really unusable. So I'm just going through and adding a few of these enamel circles just to, you know, spruce it up a little bit. Might as well include a few more, um, a few more, um, embellishments if I can and then I pulled out these copper colored hexagons and I went ahead and scattered a few of those about as well I am just taking my little glue dots cutting them in fourths and putting them on the back of these little hexagon copper pieces now I hadn't used those hexagon pieces I don't think anywhere else in this kit so pulling them out and using them at the end here was I was happy with that. I don't like having a kit where I don't use the product. I at least want to use it once or twice if at all possible. I don't mind putting stuff in my stash. Like I said, you don't have to worry. I'm not throwing it away. But um, I would like to get some use out of it instead of just hanging on to it unused. So like I said there are about eight inserts that I include um, there are these two which were Thanksgiving pieces and then I'm also going to show at the very end um, there were two from that showed Kaylin's summer camp reports um, and he got a little award or a little ribbon there is one of Kaylin's artwork where he had drawn Ernest a Father's Day card. There's one of a um, insert where I include a postcard from my mom to Kaylin because she always sends him postcards and I love having those in my scrapbook. And then there's also one that I'll show you at the end of um, the announcement from my church or my parents' church, which is the church I grew up in, um, announcing, you know, that my father had passed away to the church members, and then also kind of a, a thank you letter that we had included in the church bulletin for all the support and well wishes that we had gotten from everybody. Um, and that was, you know, a couple weeks later, of course, but I included both of those on one insert. And then in the back of that page protector, I cut it down to fit the insert. In the back of that page protector, I also included all the cards and notes that I had gotten from different friends and family. Um, um, that I personally had gotten not ones that my mom had gotten see these are this is where I'm showing these things um, not just the ones my mom had gotten but the ones I had gotten um, because I thought it'd be nice to include those as well so um, this finishes up the, this video I hope this gives you a couple ideas of what to do with some pieces that you may have in a kit and you just don't know how to use it but stay tuned I'll have my killer kit video up soon and thank you so much for joining me today, today guys hit that subscribe button if you like my videos and you would like to see more thank you